they say the best way to learn something is to teach it. So that's why two days before my gender economics final, you guys get to hear about inequality caused by... You still with me? Sorry if this is boring, but if you're an economist like me, this is actually pretty interesting. And especially if you're a feminist, you should know these things. Now, we're going to specifically look at Social Security benefits, because this is where women in particular are punished the most. Let's look at two, two different couples again. One is Romeo and Juliet. Cheesy, I know. Romeo makes all of the money in the couple, and they're married. So Romeo makes all the money. Juliet has never worked a day in her life in the labor force. I'm sure she's had done plenty of work around the house. So there's a thing called the average indexed monthly earnings um, that I don't really want to get into because that's a whole another 10, 20 minute video just to explain that. Um, but basically it's what the government decides your average monthly earnings were over your lifetime. I'm just going to call it your monthly income. The government uh, has decided that Romeo's is $5,000 and obviously Juliet's is zero. So based on that, we can find out what his social security benefits will be and what his wife's social security benefits will be. Social security is sort of a progressive benefit in the sense that you get a lot in return for the first few dollars that you make, but then you get less in return for more and more money that you make. So you get 90% of the first $826, then you get 32% of the next $4,154, and then you get 15% of whatever you make over that, up to $2,452. Romeo and Juliet. So he's making $5,000 a month. In retirement, his worker benefit is 90% of $826 plus 32% of $4,154 plus 15% of $20. You add all that up, you get $2,075.68. And then the spouse benefit, now this is key, the spouse benefit, which is what Juliet will be getting, is $1,000. $37.84, which is just half of what Romeo is getting. So the spouse benefit is half of what the higher earner makes. So let's look at a different couple. Let's look at a couple where they're both earning the same amount of money, but their total family income is the same. So let's say Anthony and Cleopatra are also making $5,000 a month, but they earn an equal share of that amount. So both of them make $2,500. Each of their benefit is going to be 90% of $826 plus 32% of $2,500 minus $826. And we calculate all that out and we get that each worker is going to be making $1,279.08. So their total family benefit is $2,568.16, which if you remember, is significantly less than the $3,113 and some change that Romeo and Juliet were making. Even though both families are making the same amount of money and they're paying the same amount of money into the Social Security tax. Now, I want to make that clear. Both families are putting the same amount of money into the Social Security system, but they're getting unequal amounts back. Is that fair? I'll let you decide. I personally don't think so. So thanks for watching. Don't worry, we've got more car videos. And if you like this, let me know and maybe I'll make some more economics videos. So thank you.